a five kilogram cannonball, and we'll call that mass A, mass A, five kilograms, is loaded into a 300 kilogram cannon, and we'll assume that the initial velocity of the cannonball is zero because it's just sitting inside the cannon. When the cannon is fired, now let's put the cannon here, cannon is mass B, and that is 300 kilograms, and it recoils at negative 5 meters per second. So recoil, negative 5 meters per second. So these are the given. That means if we had a little sketch here, here's the cannon, here's the cannonball, cannonball goes this way, the cannon goes in the opposite direction, which is why we have a negative velocity there. What is the cannonball's velocity after the explosion? So this is an example, obviously, of an explosion problem, and the equation for it is the direct reverse of a perfect inelastic collision. We have two objects together, and then they separate. So we want to solve for the velocity the final velocity of the cannonball, which is V prime A. So we rearrange the equation to isolate V prime A, and hopefully you can actually do that in your head and just write it down. It's this side, minus MBVB prime, and then you divide everybody by MA. So the first thing we notice is the initial velocity is zero. So this whole term cancels out, we have zero. Then you have minus a 300 kilogram cannon, it has a negative velocity divided by the mass of the cannonball and then we have the final velocity of the cannonball is 300 meters per second positive which is the opposite direction of the cannon's recoil which is a very good thing that's the whole point to shoot the cannonball away from your own ship